Hi folks, I'm just going to do a quick recording, I'm not going to edit it, um, about some of the features that I think so, maybe some of you don't know about in Word, um, because a lot of you are handing in some lovely work, but you don't know where your superscript and subscript are. So just a few things. Uh, if you go to the home page, you should be able to check the font, and a nice font to use is this trebuchet. I'm going to whack it up to 20. All right, and I could type away. And I'm sure you can all do this. But sometimes you might need to do an equation. Now this is a new one to me. I could actually type in an easy equation, and I hope you recognize this. And then I can highlight it, and I can go to Insert. And over here, I've got a button that says Equation. Now I think you need the full uh, Word app. And if I put in insert an equation, that will change that to an equation. But I might have something a bit more complicated. So here's one for the higher, so don't panic about that. So I could just go insert equation. And the hires know that force of gravitational force is equal to G, big G, and then M1. So I need to distinguish between these two M's. So I've got M1 here. Just stop and pause if you're not seeing what I'm doing. M2 here. Oop. No, I think that's... I've not come out of that. To do a left-hand arrow, right-hand arrow key to get out of that. If it comes up, M2. Over R squared, M1, G. G mm over r squared. I better get it right. I just want to look at right twit. More of a right twit. Okay, so that's the equations editor. You could use that for maths. You could use that for physics. Um, some of them are still in there, but I've never worked out how. And I bet my volume is really low. Yes, yeah, so you won't hear a thing. That's going to get loud. Okay, sorry about that. Um, other things that you might want. Is you probably want to, if you're a second year, you might be wanting newtons per kilogram, which you can write as newtons, whoops, newtons per kilogram. The posh way of doing it is newton kilogram and then to the minus one. And to do that, I use this subscript minus one and then I unsubscript it. Some people are using that little upside down hat. If you can't find it, you'll find it in the font section here. Superscript, subscript. Subscript makes it go down, superscript makes it go up. If you're in third year at the moment, you probably want the density. Density is mass over volume, so it's measured in kilograms per cubic meter. So there, per cubic meter. All right. Again, you could possibly, I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, you could do that in, oh, I'm still in superscript. You could do that in equations editor, but why would you want to? Because that's a bit of effort. Just to show, you can highlight it again, insert equation, but you can see that you'll have to convert that into this script bit here. Okay, which you then have to wiggle to here. So that's another way of doing that. Um, other things that you might want for that insert, insert symbols, more symbols, and if you go to the font being symbol, you can find a pi. That's not a very good pi. You can find the gamma symbol. Uh, you can find an alpha, beta, gamma, alpha. Beta, there's a gamma. Uh, you might want a lambda, obviously. There's a pi. Um, and there's the lambda symbol. Um, if you're doing density, there's the density one. But obviously, that's there as well. Uh, that's the density one. Um, I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see what else there is. Obviously, you want to send lots of love to your teacher.
Okay, so have a little play about um, and make sure that you get stuff neatly. That's um, infinity. Okay, uh, as a tick there, that's a pretty good one to get a tick. I use uh, a tick. I use a capital P. Oop, nope, not that. Oops, I use a capital P, not a shift P. And I use the font. If I go to the font. I use the font Wingdings 2. And that should be a capital P. And if I want to cross, I use Wingdings capital O. Okay. Hope that helps. Bye. Whoops, I've just realised there's something I wanted to do. So if I go back away from the font and take it back to this trebuchet, uh, you might find that you ought to want to do an equation speed equals distance over time. Uh, obviously not capital V, but we'll sort that later. Now when you highlight that and go insert and equation, it gives you the sort of V equals D over T, which looks okay. But remember, we like it as uh, over. So if I highlight that, I can probably do it somewhere else and convert to professional. Ta -da! It does that. Okay. I'm going to try that again because I think Mr. H was teaching me a different way of doing that. So insert equations editor. And it might be, uh, I know he did it in one click, but still, no, I think that could be it. Mm, equation. Oh, well, if you let me know. It's this one here, is it? There we go. You can do it in there. Professional. Like you. Okay, thank you. Bye.